Good afternoon, folks. This is a second or third series or third in a series of videos that I'm doing about shipping goods from the U.S. to Ecuador. Uh, as you know, I used to use USA Valet. I stopped using them for personal reasons. If you want to know why, send me an email and I'll send you uh, information directly. And then I tried out MyUS.com. I had an order placed from Amazon and had it shipped to me via MyUS us.com that was the last video that i did and then i placed an order from amazon and had it shipped direct by amazon and that's what this video is about and when i come back i'm gonna give you all the details about it hey hello there so this time i ordered something you know, I, I, I went on Amazon, I set my address as my Ecuador address instead of my Phoenix address. So that took me to Amazon Ecuador, so to speak. And I found what I wanted. I placed an order for a laptop, a little inexpensive laptop that I could carry around here in a backpack and not feel too afraid to take it out. But anyway, that's neither here nor there. <clears throat> I, I wanted a cheaper laptop to carry to the mall with me for using when I'm uh, sitting in a restaurant and I want to write some stuff and so forth. But anyway, that's not what this video is about. This video is about getting stuff shipped here. <clears throat> so I placed this order with Amazon and I use Amazon Direct. Here is the spreadsheet with the information on it. This is my spreadsheet that I put together to document the process that I went through. You can see here on July 16th, I placed my order at Amazon. Uh, for a direct shipment to Ecuador. Amazon promised the delivery date of July 16th. Now the reason why, and I'm sorry, but that was actually July 26th, okay? I'll correct that right quick. So they promised the delivery date by 26th. I waited until the 26th so that I could get free shipping from Amazon. I didn't really get free shipping, but that was free shipping in the U.S., I guess. I don't really understand. But you know how you can, when you go and, and you can pick your delivery date. You know, I don't have Prime, so I don't get free delivery. But if you pick your delivery date, and if you're willing to wait a while, they'll deliver for free. In this case, they charged me $41.76 for shipping. But that included shipping to, to Ecuador as well. Okay? And then they charged me $79.20 as a deposit against the Ecuadorian import fees. On the 21st of July, I received a notice from UPS here in Ecuador via email concerning customs information, which included a full description of the shipment in Spanish. So they, had, gave, they sent me some questions. Most of the questions were self-explanatory and they were easy to answer. Uh, didn't really require much, but I had to, I just took the description from the Amazon order and put it in Google Translate and I converted it all to Spanish and I sent that back to them and they accepted that without any problem. On the next day, I received an email on the 22nd of July, I received an email from UPS acknowledging the receipt of my response and they stated that they would contact me if they needed any further information. So on 26th of July, I received the laptop as promised and as you can see here, from this little video clip, the condition of the box that it was in, this is the way I got it. When I walked into the building, my guard had this sitting on the front desk, and I saw this, and I thought, oh, Lord, can't wait to see. But the laptop was actually in its own box, and inside this box, and it was had padding around it, and it was okay. It looked to me like the UPS driver sat on this thing as a seat cushion, while he's delivering it. So anyway, there, there it is. So that's another way to get stuff sent here from the U.S. You can, I, I know a lot of you are going to come back and say, well, you have a muling service that you use and they only charge anywhere from 8 to $12 a pound. You know, I don't always feel comfortable with using a muling service. If they have a problem getting your product here, you're, you're screwed. You, you, you have no recourse. I'm sure there are some of you that are going to jump in the comment section here and tell me, not my muling service, I got the best muling service there is, and 
He guarantees blah, blah, blah. Oh, who gives a damn? It, you know, you can use a mulling service if you want to. Now, I have friends that are making trips back and forth from here to the States, and they, uh, you know, will contact me and offer, you know, ask me if I need anything, they'll offer to bring it to me, and I will do that. That's the same thing as muling, but there are actual muling services. Now, I might try one of them out for another upcoming video just to see how it works out. Uh, the, the primary advantage to using a muling service like that is that most likely you won't have to pay import taxes on it. But there are other risks involved, you know. Risks that you probably wouldn't have to worry about if you use a, a large company like Amazon. But anyway, I'll do a video on it. That concludes this one. I just wanted to let you know how it worked out. So that's this is three ways now I've tried to get stuff shipped here. And this one, this time it was just direct from Amazon. Okay, thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Ciao, ciao.